There's been rumors of soldiers smuggling personal items into the station. It's I tough don't. not seeing any action. You see Marines are way too busy. Inside's a bad place for tourists these days. You looking to get zoned? Really? You're just gonna blurt it out like that? Good God. Since it's obvious you're the rook that Delgado sent, I'm gonna save both of us some time. Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. Are you serious? You're just gonna completely blow me off like that. I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. I've dealt with Bayou in the past. He's got a clear set of goals, I'll give you that. All right, all right, I get the point. Let's just get this over with. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm gonna make this as clear as possible. You want the conduction grid tech, then you're gonna have to download it from the power core of Jennerdyne's facility in the underbelly. I'm talking about Jennerdyne's main power plant for Neon. All their cushy offices might be up in the trade tower, but the nuts and bolts of their operation are running beneath the city. Love the confidence. But before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. While you're inside Jennerdyne, I need you to plant a virus into their system. It's a simple side job that'll earn you some credits. I think you can handle it. That's because you're planning it for me as a favor. Jennerdyne has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks, and I want access. Here, take this micro drive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. And I suppose you're gonna head down to Jennerdyne and kick down the door? Wow. It's so simple. I can't believe I didn't think of that myself. Jennerdyne's got their place locked down tight. But as usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. I recommend you start with Ayumi Komiko, an upper level exec at Jennerdyne. Get your hands on her security pass and you'll have the run of the place. Ryujin Cloud doesn't mean shit at Jennerdyne. So you're gonna have to deal with Komiko and potentially her boyfriend, Benjamin Bayou. Anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorica. Talk to the owner of the place, Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. As for dealing with Komiko herself, she's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. The rest is up to you, Rook. When you're done, come meet me at the VIP booth in the Astral Lounge so we can celebrate. Don't let Komiko push you around. She isn't as tough as she seems. The strikers are upstairs, so we better be on our best. Astro lamp. Yeah, what? Is this important? I'm really busy right now. Let me save you some time. If you're here for a job, we're not hiring. 
If you're here about the conduction grid tour, we shut it down a year ago. Good. If you were, you'd be the twelfth person I've turned away this year. What a waste. Look, I'm sorry if I'm blowing up at you, but I've got a ton of problems and no time to deal with them all. I'm afraid that things aren't going terribly well around here. I don't care if I'm allowed to or not. I'm happy to get this off my chest. The conduction grid went online almost 75 years ago. And since then, we haven't developed a single groundbreaking innovation. At this point, the money we're taking in as a power utility barely covers the waste that's going on in the research and development division. <laughs> You'd think that, right? The problem is that Brayson Bayou, Administrator Bayou's brother, is currently heading up the R&D division. I swear to you, the man doesn't know the first thing about power systems or electromagnetic technology. None whatsoever. Look, I'm running out of options. No one above me seems to care what's going on, but I'm willing to take a chance. I have a full report on Brayson that I want to send to Administrator Bayou, but I don't know if he can be trusted. What do you think I should do? It describes my aggravation with how badly Brayson Bayou is running the Research and Development Division. I'm also including a list of all the failed experiments he's greenlit, and how much they've cost Genodyne as proof of his incompetence. I'm praying someone as financially successful as Administrator Bayou might be able to put aside his ego and look at this from a business perspective. You know what? You're absolutely right. I can't allow Brayson to run this company into the ground. Hey look, uh, thanks for helping me out with this. It's been on my mind for a long time. As long as it doesn't get me into serious trouble, ask away. Whoa. Okay, that's crossing the line. I can't discuss company matters like this. Huh. That makes a lot of sense, now that I think about it. I really hope so. Okay, listen. You didn't hear this from me, but I know she's up to something with Benjamin Bayou. He was in her office a few weeks ago, and they had some kind of shouting match. It got really heated until Bayou stormed out the door. I don't know what it was about, but I happen to know Miss Komiko keeps audio recordings of all her meetings in her safe. And before you ask, yes, I'll unlock it for you. Just don't tell anyone I helped, okay? Because I'm sick and tired of the corruption that's running through this city. People around here spend half their lives terrified about being backstabbed, and spend the rest of it planning on how they're going to screw over someone else. Something rotten is going on in this company, and one day, I hope to find out what it is. Sure, sure, no problem. Hope to see you again soon. I want this. I'm not going to 
to say this twice. Have you tried one of our advanced tillers? Huh? this once and for all. Verocity? Welcome. Please, make yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our members' lounge, where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. See, you just proved my point. Down your third velocity, and you're out cold. By the third chimera, you're floating on freaking No, no, not this again. You people should leave her alone. What do you want with her? Micah learned to mix a drink like that anyway. Well, let's face it, some people are just... Yeah, sure. Tell me another one. You debt collectors are low-life assholes. She's broke, okay? Now get out of my club before I get really pissed off and have you thrown into the street. It's nothing personal, friend. The... The Crimson Fleet? Oh, my... I'm sorry. I had no idea. I didn't mean anything by it, really. Sorry, I just... Well, I worry about her. Ayumi owes a lot of money around town. I'm trying to help her out. But, you know, I have a business to keep afloat. If you want to talk to her, you can find her in the members' lounge. Of course, access to the lounge is going to cost you. And I'm not changing my mind about that. Excellent. Then here is your access key. Please let us know if anything in the lounge interferes with your comfort. Now sit back, relax, and unwind. Looks like you need to relax. What's up? Yeah. What do you want? <sighs> Before you continue, let me save you some time. If you are having a problem with your power or complain about your rates, you need to contact our customer service department. Anything else? Uh, you must be zoned out of your mind because there's no way anyone sober would say something like that. The Crimson Fleet, huh? This is interesting. So tell me, what does Delgado need with my Pastor Genodyne? How the hell did you find that? It was Estelle Vincent, wasn't it? That bitch. I knew I should have kept that somewhere else. Here, take this pass. It should get you through the storage room entry to the facility. I'm warning you though, once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck, you're going to need it. I suppose if I don't explain, a copy of that recording you found might end up on the next SSNN report. Okay, fair enough. A few years back, the previous CEO of Genodyne went missing. As the COO, I was next in line for the job. Instead, Bayou muscled his way into the company and gave me an ultimatum. Either back up his bullshit Mr. Harada identity, or I'm gone. I had no choice. But I decided right then and there, I was going to do whatever I could to take what was rightfully mine. If that meant seducing Bayou to tip him off balance, then so be it. Luckily for me, Mike has been incredibly understanding about the whole thing. Oh, we're polar opposites, but we share a unique bond. 
Micah is the only person in this godforsaken city that's kept me from going completely under. She doesn't want money, doesn't use me for influence or as a stepping stone to get ahead. She loves me for being me, and I love her for being the same. And when this stupid bullshit is over, and Bayou is ten fathoms deep under Neon, we'll be there for each other. Forever. If you get caught in Jennerdyne, that's on you. Good luck. Website's changed. Rather be doing this than getting this. Here's where the magic happens. I think I mean creating Aurora out of fish guts, I guess. What's new? You got it.
Oh, it's you. I was wondering how long it would take you to get down here. If you want the encryption cipher, you're welcome to it. I just don't want anyone getting hurt. Uh, when you access the computer and the power core, it sends a notification to be here. I knew you were coming, I, I just didn't know when. No, no catch. I, I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher? It, it's yours. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. Oh, don't, don't patronize me. I know I'm no prize winner myself, but at least I don't spend my days trying to screw everyone over. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works out for him. While, I, while I've been bouncing from one job to the next, barely keeping afloat. And all the while, he laughs at me behind my back. <laughs> Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. That wouldn't do any good. For every scheme he's gotten himself into, he has a bulletproof exit strategy. Man's virtually immortal. You know what? I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my turn to take control for once. The passcode for my terminal is GEN-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, I suggest you do the same. Thanks again for the talk. It really helped. You're in the vanguard, right? Hey, thanks for your service. Ah, there you are. What kept you? I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne systems. All too well. You know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. Probably. But do you want to know why that's not going to happen? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done with finesse. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. That's not how I do business. That's what they tell me. 
Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. Brayson. Interesting. And here I thought my dear brother was simply a coward. Hmm. Perhaps I've misjudged Brayson. No matter. I'll deal with him soon enough. So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the Key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regard. Glad you're back. Sorry about the whole Benjamin Bay you think at the Astral Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? The man is priceless. You're not the least bit concerned that he found the virus and figured out where we were meeting that quickly. Must be nice to be so naive. Yeah, I'm pretty much dead in the water at this point. Since Bayou flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jennerdine is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash, and I have no way to pay it all back. That's pretty cool of you to offer, but I know what he's gonna say. Sorry, Estelle! This was your scheme. You're on your own. Believe me, he's not going to be much help. Look, I was hoping you'd pick up on what I was trying to ask. What the hell with it? I'll just ask. Can you cut me in for a little bit of cash you're making on this job? I mean, I did get you inside and practically hand you the data on the grid. I appreciate that. I really do. Having each other's back is what makes the fleet stronger, you know? How much, uh, are you willing to part with? This is perfect. It will definitely help. Thank you. All right, I guess we're done here. Tell Delgado if he ever needs me for anything else. I've still got his back. And hey, you won't be hearing Rook from me anymore. As far as I'm concerned, you're one of us now. Lifeblood of the fleet. If anyone tries to tell you otherwise, you send him to talk to me. Tell Neva she still owes me a drink for our poker game. I'm zoned out of my mind right now. <laughs> that side's a bad We might see some action soon. The command. It's good to have you back. What can I do for you? Hmm. Glad to hear it. Let's see what you got. Benjamin Bayou, pride of the Free Star Collective. The authorities there have been trying to nail him for a long time. Bringing us proof that he's been manipulating Jennerdine from the shadows is pretty tasty stuff. The FC. Will pay dearly for this. Good job. Any other fragments? All right. Keep up the good work. Let me know if you need anything else. Word is.
All hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. Oh, that's hilarious. You're a real comedian, you know that? Now get your ass to the repair bay. Go! Got a minute to chat? Oh, pardon me. And you are sure we will have those defense batteries up and running? No, 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 no. I'm not sure. They're in bad shape, Del. Really bad shape. I I'm already using duct tape and spit to keep the station from falling apart, and you want me to pull a rabbit out of my hat? I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear that it's going to be fixed. Period. Get it done. All right, all right. I'm on it. You want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data? Ah, perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> Dependable as always. Unlike some people we know. Oh, that's real funny. All right, listen up, because I don't want to repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC Sysdef is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the key. While we prepare for their arrival, I want you to head straight for Bannock 4 and bring Crix's legacy home. Lay it out, Jess. All right, first things first. I'm gonna upload this data you snagged from Jennerdyne into the Keys databanks. All you need to do is build and then install a conduction grid module onto your ship. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comp spike module installed as well. Wait, I, I should take notes. Once your ship is ready, jump out to Bannock 4, board the Legacy, and bring us the cash. Of course there's a catch. What, you thought this would be easy? After you board the Legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, hook up the data core I'm gonna give you, and download everything they've got. And before you get any bright ideas, like running off with the money, that currency is going to be heavily encrypted. Only a genius like Shinya will be able to crack that encryption, so bring it back here right away. Yeah? I sure hope so. Look, I'm gonna make this real simple for you. If that money ends up anywhere but the key, I will hunt you down and pry it out of your dead hands myself. Now get moving. Come Got back a with Rick's legacy. Maybe don't a few minutes. Back at all. Probably not hours, though. But no guarantees. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. The comm spike traces and decrypts coded signals. As long as you have the transponder ID, you can track pretty much anything. That file you lifted from the Galbank archives contained the legacy's transponder code, which I'll program into your nav system. All you have to do is get within the vicinity of Bannock 4, and the comm spike will automatically point you to the target. Cute toy, huh? Well, you already know that the conduction grid does a pretty nifty trick. It absorbs extreme voltage and converts it to usable power on Neon. The version for your ship can still absorb incoming electrical energy, like, say, the EM fields surrounding Bannock 4, but it can't store the power. Instead, it just scatters the EM harmlessly away from the hull, insulating you from frying every circuit aboard. As a nice side effect, I'm betting the module will make your ship somewhat EM weapon resistant and boost its shield regen. <laughs> Lucky you. There are three defensive batteries, basically high-powered military space turrets, triangulated around the key. They were part of the UC's original defenses for the station. Pretty effective, too. Can put some serious hurt on enemy spacecraft. The good news is that the batteries have an incredibly wide field of coverage, so they can pick off ships trying to reach the key from any vector. The bad news is that they're 100-year-old tech. They keep breaking down and are expensive as hell to keep operational. Not a problem. Conduction grid data is all set up in the system, so it should be an easy install. 
And I need your cash. It's a match made in heaven. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make... Not a problem. Conduction grid down. I bet you would. Support ships have arrived, Commander. Good. After we're done here, arrange a briefly. I want all of their CEOs over here as soon as possible. Yes, sir. There you are. Where have you been? You mean your latest excursion to Neon? I've received the reports about your little foray into Genadyne. Last piece of the puzzle before you go after Crix's legacy. Which means it's time to put all the cards on the table and prepare to attack the key. Good. The more confusion and panic we cause, the more damage we can potentially inflict. Before you jump to Bannock 4, I need to make one thing abundantly clear. The credits from that Gal Bank transport cannot reach the fleet. You have to bring them here at all costs. If Delgado gains access to those resources, we might be touching off a battle we can't possibly win. We've been monitoring the Crimson Fleet's comm chatter and the Crick system. They're gathering allies by making promises based on your success. As much as I hate to admit it, UC Sysdef won't stand a chance. The fleet will become stronger and more unified than ever. Believe me, that's the absolute last thing I want. I have the scars to prove it. Exactly. That's why it's imperative that we double our efforts and take them down once and for all. You're not doing it for me. You're doing it for the security of the settled systems. All right, I guess this is it. Do whatever prep you need to do aboard the Vigilance, and then head out to Bannock 4. When you return here with Crix's legacy, we'll begin the attack. Good luck. Stay hey, focused. stranger. Stay careful out there. Let's chat sometime, okay? You doing all right?
Warning, vault access requires an authorized transfer module. Vault access approved. Please get clear of the door. Shivering here. I've done this a thousand times. Being advised that this is now a damage.
Recording initiated. Well now, let's see. Another day's gone by. Let's pick now, six weeks. Who the hell knows? Food packs for my ship are gone, so it looks like the clock's running down for me, and Issa wins. What a clever woman. I never saw it coming. I mean, I can't blame her. I was stupid enough to hand her the opportunity. Now the fleet's resting on her shoulders. I only hope she doesn't run the whole operation right into the ground. Terminated. Crew recording initiated. Son of a bitch! Nothing. Complete waste of time. I've tried everything I can possibly think of and I end up right where I started. Oh, here I thought I was so clever. Thought I had it all figured out. First, fix my ship and get the prototype shielding back online. Second, shunt the power from the cred tank array back to the system to drain the credits. And then third, Haul ass back to my ship before the EM field rips apart the legacy. Three easy steps, right? Only problem is, I'm stuck at step one. Every system on my ship is dead, and there's nothing aboard this ship to use for repairs. I can't believe I came all this way just to end up stuck here like the poor bastards who ran this ship. Actually, wait a second, Isa. Isa will figure it out. I, I told her where I was going for a reason. She's smart. She'll she'll know something's up when I miss the rendezvous. After all, we're supposed to split the loot. All I have to do is sit tight and wait until she figures out that something's gone wrong. Then she'll come here looking for me. <laughs> Meantime, I should uh, start rationing my food. <laughs> I could be waiting for a while. Crew recording terminated. Currency transfer complete. Multiple 
Hull breach is detected. Structural integrity failing. Immediate evacuation recommended. His legacy. <sighs> Amazing. Ensign, take this and enter it into the data core analyzer. I'm on it, sir. You see, Lieutenant? I told you he wouldn't let us down. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Encrypted or not, that's quite a lot of money to be carrying around. The temptation must have been excruciating. Well, you came through. Now, on to other more pressing matters. We received confirmation that the fleet ships were scouts sent to probe our defenses. Unfortunately, one of them grabbed, jumped away before you arrived. Which means that Delgado will have the Crimson Fleet prepping defenses of its own. Well, get ready. I think Delgado already suspects what's happening. That's the plan. Lieutenant, if you wouldn't mind explaining our strategy. Yes, sir. The Vigilance is equipped with the latest in hyper-resistant shielding, making it the only ship that can safely approach the key. The catch is that the key has access to three orbital defensive batteries that can fire electromagnetic energy. One hit, and we lose those fancy shields. Our mission is to take out those batteries. In fact, I'll be personally leading the assault on Battery Alpha. I need you to be my support. Sadly. We didn't get as much support for this mission as I would have liked. There just wasn't enough evidence gathered. We weren't able to convince Mass to lend us additional squadrons. They feel like they've committed too many resources already. That means we'll have to take out all three batteries ourselves. It's unfortunate, yes. But we wouldn't be here if I didn't believe you could do it. We've also given you a call sign, Renegade, to help coordinate our movements during the attack. Once those batteries are destroyed, you board the key and bring Delgado to justice. You won't come quietly. You do what you have to do. That's admirable. But I don't think anyone in the Crimson Fleet, especially Delgado, is going to see things that way. I know this isn't <laughs> easy for you. You've spent countless hours bonding with these pirates. And perhaps on some superficial level, you consider them your friends. But remember who you're dealing with. Pirates, criminals, and thieves. 
They won't think twice about killing you. So don't let some misguided mercy be your undoing. Well, this is it. After years of planning, it all comes down to this moment. All my hopes and my best wishes go with you. Good luck. Time to show these pirates how Sestaf does things. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's...
wrong? Where's the damn vigilance? Lose something, Toft? Ava's dealing with your flagship as we speak. I wouldn't expect backup anytime soon. Gives me plenty of time to blow your ships out of the void. All right, fleet! Triple share to whoever takes the traitor down! All ships, defensive formations! something for you. Hey, if you have time, I've been thinking about some things to talk to you about. Ah, okay then. I... Traveling with you has been more of it. All righty. Okay, boy, show him what you got. I am unable. Not possible. You want the whole
We're gonna pay for that! Shit! They got TK! Hold the line! Isra's down! Riders! this to me. Wow. Clearly we should have practiced our grumpy pirate faces a bit more before arriving. I can decrypt and thousands of credits in seconds, but something as simple as this, I didn't see it coming. Not in the slightest. And now because of you, my bomb's sure. been activated. I've got some time to which kill. means I'm as good as dead. You're right, I did. But I never thought I'd be staring the reason for its activation right in the face. I've paid you well, treated you with respect, and kept trouble off your back more than a few times. Look me in the eye and tell me why you've allowed this oh, to happen to me. You owe me that much. Do I really need to explain this to you? There's quite a significant difference between dishonesty and dishonor. Well, now that you're here, I don't expect that you'll stay and watch my rather this. spectacular ending. So why don't you just get out of my sight and let me die in peace? Then let's end this! to finish the job personally? I've always treated you like one of the fleet. I paid you well. 
Touch of the ropes. And still you're going to pull this shit on me? What the hell happened to you? You had Krix's legacy in your hands, and you gave it away. For what? For honor? Justice? Yeah? And why the hell does Sistef get to determine what is right and what is wrong? You know, when we were on Suvorov, I saw the potential for you to become a badass pirate. One of the best. And now you suddenly expect me to believe I have been fooled the entire time? That this was some kind of elaborate game you have been playing? No. No way. For once in your life, be honest with me. Admit that you were tempted. You don't even have the nerve to admit it. Unbelievable. It is obvious that no matter what I say, you have no intention of honoring our pact. You clearly never did. I have already locked down the key and set its reactors to overload. Soon, you, me, and everyone near this station are going to be vaporized. Let's see how far that loyalty to Sistef takes you now. And spend the rest of my life in the brig without a credit to my name? Why would I do that? And I suppose you want me to think it ends outside a prison cell and not in. Still, a prison door opens, just like any other. As is every member of the fleet. And if I give them all one more day, maybe we make it out of this. They might. And if they do, I would just be tying up their loose ends, including you. If so, letting you live might afford me some small victory. Fine, you win. Standing down the reactors. With the legacy gone, we're dead in the water anyway. But before you have Ikande lock me up, I'm gonna leave you with some parting words. Whether you know it or not, you're damn good at being a pirate. It's in your blood. One of these days, that's all gonna hit you. And I'll be waiting for you in my cell to tell you I told you so. That was real impressive flying, kid. You were in your wings today. Thank you, sir. Great job. Oh! You have permission to speak freely. I believe congratulations are in order. With this decisive blow, the end of the Crimson Fleet is all but assured. But as much as I'd like to begin this celebration, technically we're still in the process of wrapping up the operation. On that note, Lieutenant, what do you have for me? Reports are coming in right now, Commander. Delgado has been taken into custody and will be transferred to our brig. Unfortunately, Shinya Voss was killed by his chest bomb. Nothing left to be gained there, I'm afraid. Also, we've transferred personnel to the Key to secure the location until the United Colonies decides what they want to do with the station. And what about Neva Mora? According to our reports, Neva led the strike force that attacked the Vigilance. Unfortunately, that was the last we saw of her. It looks like she managed to escape. We don't know her current whereabouts, but I have our operations team looking into it. That's fine. Overall, excellent news, Lieutenant. I have to admit, for the first time in seven years, I don't know what to say. How about you? I know that was difficult. You hanging in there? You have no reason to feel guilty about anything. 
No matter how close you were to the fleet, you have to remember that they're terrible people that did terrible things and don't deserve your guilt. I've twisted arms and cashed in some favors at Mast. I wanted to make sure you got a share of the money you recovered from the legacy. Call it a reward, a token of appreciation, whatever the hell you want. But you've absolutely earned every credit. We appreciate it, but if we did it for the credits, we probably wouldn't be talking right now. Well, yes, I believe it did. But even if the money is ever returned to its rightful owner, and I believe it will, eventually, I'm sure they'd agree you deserve your share. Don't thank me yet. If it had been completely up to me, you'd get a lot more than they're giving you. Now that you're rich and famous, maybe you'll still remember us little people, huh? Decorum, Lieutenant? Damn, I'm going to be really sorry to see you go. You've really become an important part of our team. It won't be the same around here without you. Although, if you feel like staying aboard, I'm sure I could give you access to the SysDef mission board. That is, if you can stand spending another minute with us on the Vigilance. Excellent. I'm happy we haven't somehow frightened you away. Anyway, enough talk. You've earned a break, and I'm sure you wish to celebrate. Here's your promised reward. And wherever you might find yourself, my best wishes travel with you. The mission board has been pretty active as of late. It's a good reminder that we're still out there. Dusty. Dusty. Let's talk. 